Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is currently on GameFound called Divinus. This one's designed by Philip Malinsky and published by Lucky Duck Games. And it plays up to four players. And it is a campaign legacy style game where things on the board will be changing over the course of the campaign. That's right. And so this is made by the designer who is one of the co-designers of their other game called Destinies. Mm -hmm. Which was also kind of like a campaign style app based game. Yep. But uh, this one is quite different in both theme and mechanics. Right. And so in this game, we we are playing as different demigods who are trying to win the favor of the gods. Of the gods. We have two warring pantheons, we have the Greek pantheon as well as the Nordic gods, mm -hmm. and they are they're at war. And so we are trying to, to help them by picking sides, and at the end of the campaign, one of us will be a new god. We will be elevated to god status. Yes, a yeah. divinus. Mm -hmm. Now the copy that we have is a prototype copy of the game because the game is being crowdfunded currently, mm -hmm. and so we only have access to scenarios one and two. Right. And for today's playthrough, we're going to be showcasing Scenario 2 and kind of just catching you up to speed on Scenario 1. Right. With that being said, there may be potential spoilers because uh, this, uh, this potentially Scenario 1 and 2 of the final copy of the game. Right. We do know that we've been told that some of the mechanics that are in Scenario 2 are going to be kind of uh, introduced a little bit more slowly in the final campaign, which makes me think that this might not be the exact scenario. Mm -hmm. But just in case, there are potential spoilers in our playthrough. Now, because this is a prototype, we do have to note that some of the components as well as the rule sets may change over the course of the campaign, uh, so just be aware of that. But if you find that you like what you see here, we're going to include a link to their game found campaign down below so you can check them out there. And with that, I think we're ready to get started. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so if you please direct your attention to the end of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Divinus. Welcome to a world of uh, warring gods. Yes. <laughs> right? You have your Greek gods over here. Yes. And you have your Nordic gods over there. Over here. And somewhere in the middle here, we have some um, barbarians. Yep. But uh, just to kind of give you the lay of the land, like we were mentioning, we are playing as different demigods who are trying to win the favor of both of these uh, different types of gods. Mm -hmm. So each player has their own box because there are four of these in the game. You choose one and you are that character, um, I suppose, for the rest of the campaign. Yep. The box contains your six dice, which we are going to be using throughout the game in order to acquire these tiles, which you'll learn about in a second. And on the box, as the, the game progresses, the campaign progresses, and you acquire different titles, etc., you're going to be placing them on the box itself. It's going to keep track of everything about your character um, that you've accomplished. Mm -hmm. Now, the main board over here has everything you kind of need to know about uh, the mechanics of the game. Mm -hmm. And so, like I was mentioning, we've already played through scenario one, so we're going to just kind of give you up to speed on what we did in that scenario so that you can accurately know what's going to happen in this one. Right. The main concept of the game so far is that each player is going to be building up their own 4 by 4 grid of terrain tiles. We're going to have our own map of sorts. Yep. And the terrain tiles are going to be all of these ones in the middle here that we're going to be trying to select by spending dice, yep. which you'll see in a second. Mm -hmm. Now, the purpose of this is we're trying to win the favor of these gods. And so in scenario one, we only had these two. We had Gaia as well as Emir, I, Ymir, believe, I is believe, is the pronunciation. Yeah. And so the way that it worked is each god has their own criteria for winning their favor. For example, Emir over here, who's a Nordic god, rewards the player who has the biggest area in each type of terrain on their map. Mm -hmm. So if you had the biggest mass of these plains terrain, then you would get a favor point. Same thing for water and same thing for the mountains. Now, on the other hand, we have Gaia, who, who wants several of the same type of terrain. Exactly. So whoever has the most number of uh, grassy areas, water areas, and mountainous areas will gain favorite points for the Greek gods. And those are separate areas, and uh, what's considered a separate area is at least two tiles coming together. So if this was a lone tile, that would not be considered its own separate area. Now, the way in which we actually do this is at the start of the game, we're going to roll all six of our dice, and these are considered to be active uh, when they are in front of us. And so on your turn, uh, the only action that we had available to us in the first scenario was to explore. And so what you would do here is you would spend any number of these dice to acquire one of the tiles on the board. But you, the way that you do this is by doing some basic math. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted this tile over here, which is number 10, then... <laughs> you would have to spend a lot. <laughs> I would have to spend a lot of dice. <laughs> Maybe I, would, I should do it. <laughs> I could spend these... Four, yes. because four plus three is seven, plus two is nine, plus one is ten. So I could do that to take the ten. Right. And they don't always have to be the sum. So if Naveen wanted to take tile number seven, yep. he could do like the ten and the three, because ten minus three is seven. And you can do a combination of addition and subtraction exactly. in order to get to the value of the tile. Mm -hmm. And so then you would leave your dice on that spot, and you would place the tile... Um, 
in your 4x4 grid. Right. So the rules for placement are that you can only have maximum 4x4 and all of the terrain on all sides must match. Makes, makes sense, yeah. Yes. Now you'll notice in addition to terrain, these tiles also have, uh, sometimes they have symbols on them. And these symbols are either permanent, they come on the tile, or we place them using stickers. And there are sticker placement rules, which we're not going to get into really. Mm -hmm. But these symbols basically just represent the different factions. So the blue symbols are all for specifically the Nordic gods yep. team. <laughs> and the, the gold ones are for the Greeks. The ones that are white are barbarians. We don't really know the uh, significance of the barbarians just yet. They kind of, from what we understand, they represent kind of the humans that are torn between the two different types of gods. Mm -hmm. And in scenario one, the game ended once somebody has completed their four by four grid. Then you go into final scoring by looking at the requirements for the gods and see who met all those requirements and kind of see who has earned the most favor between the two. Mm -hmm. The last bit that we didn't go over are um, in each scenario, you also have these quest cards. We played with different quests in the first scenario, yep. which we're not going to lay out just in case you, you plan on playing this game. But uh, they were very basic. They were basically like whoever is the first to have four of these symbols on their tiles. Yep gets to claim that quest. If whoever can meet the requirements first, it's a race. gets that favor, that favor point. And it's more than just favor points. You kind of dial it into the app, and the app will give you flavor text as to what is going on in this story. Mm -hmm. And it seems like the decisions you make are going to kind of affect the rest of the campaign. Going forward, yep. Those are the main mechanics of the game. Just to kind of summarize what happened between the two of us yep. in that first game, mm -hmm. Naveen was quite victorious. Yes. These were our results after the first game. Naveen and I are both in a tie for the Greek God's favor, mm -hmm. and Naveen is in the lead for everything else. The Greek God's favor points, the Nordic God's, and then uh, cumulatively. Mm -hmm. So Naveen is pretty much in the lead for all of them. Now, I forgot to mention that the dice are standard dice. They go from one to six. But at the start of scenario one, we were able to place one a sticker on our dice. I'll help you find which, it. Thank you, there thank is. you. Yep. It's a, a three or six, yep. and so we just covered up one of the die faces. Yep. Uh, because Naveen was so successful in the first scenario, he was able to cover up two more faces with die stickers. Yes, there's a one, three, five that I was able to do. That's from scenario one. And then yep. at the start of this scenario, I was given a 10 sticker. So now I have a 10 value on one side of my die. Yes, which is really nice, nice and yeah. really beneficial. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it, which is going to also help us or help you for the second scenario because we will now have more opportunities to sticker our dice. Yep. Now that you're all caught up with uh, where we are so far, let's talk about scenario two because mm -hmm. we've done all of the setup for it and we really just need to get started. Right. So the difference now in scenario two is we have three new quests. And these quests have to do with these two new mechanics that were introduced specifically in scenario two. They're basically the ability to sticker additional dice yep. by going yep. to um, the, forge. the forge. This is Hephaestus's forge. Yes. And so on your turn, instead of taking an explore action to take one of these tiles, you can place your dice here, do some math, and then take whatever value that sticker is. Exactly. So if I wanted a seven, I could put these two dice here and say four plus three equals seven, remove that sticker, and then place it on one of my dice. Yes. And so taking the action just lets you place the dice there. But what I didn't mention is uh, the second type of action is resting, and mm -hmm. resting allows you to take all your dice back and re-roll them. Yep. And so when you rest, then you get to take the sticker. So if we're both competing for this seven, then I may want to rest first. Exactly. So there's a little race element there yes. as well. Yes. And that's just to permanently sticker your dice. Now, in the final copy of the game, I believe these stickers are going to be, uh, they're not going to be permanent. I believe they're going to be uh, repeelable. But because yeah. we have the prototype copy of the game, our stickers are permanent. <laughs> now, the other location that is uh, new to this scenario is this one right here, which is the Wayland location. Mm -hmm. And so this will allow us to place an artifact on our box. There are three different artifacts here. In order for you to claim an artifact, you have have to have a cumulative dice total of whatever that number is, yep. just like in this location. And same thing, you get to take the artifact uh, when you rest. Now that we've met these locations, let's talk about our three quests. The first quest over here for the Greek side is an ally for Hephaestus. Whoever can forge the most dice sides gets this point. Yeah, so I guess exactly. this is something that's going to be resolved at the end of the scenario, it looks exactly. like. Yep. The Nordic quest is Wayland's Regret. Mm -hmm. So if you buy the most artifacts, in the case of a tie, it's whoever bought the last ones. So this mm -hmm. is another one that will be resolved at the end. Yep. So basically, the game is encouraging us to do these two things, right? Yes. And uh, there's always a quest so far that is kind of like in the middle. You can choose your reward, either a favor from the Nordic side or from the Greek side. And this is the first person to have four sacred sites on your map. And these sacred sites, if you can kind of see real closely here, are these uh, these circular, these like oval-shaped mm -hmm. areas on some of the tiles. They're not on all of them, but you'll see one right there. You'll see one right there. Whoever can have four of them first 
gets to claim that quest and that'll be done in game. And the last thing before we get started are our new gods that are new to scenario number two and they are Ares and Thor because they are now leading the war for both sides, yep. right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the scenario, Ares just wants to reward the player who has the most number of these Greek symbols anywhere on their map. Yep. So just give it the most, then you get a, uh, a favor for that side. Right. Same thing with Thor, but for the Nordic symbols. So complete opposite. And uh, I believe that's it. That's it, yep. We are ready to begin? We are, yes. All right, so if we see any uh, flavor text, then we will read it uh, in-game, but we skipped a lot of it in the beginning. Yeah, we Just did. so we can kind of get started with yep. this. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go first because okay. I essentially lost scenario one. What we're assuming, yeah. you, you had the least amount of favor. I lost. And so let's go ahead and roll it dice. All right. Hey, I didn't get any of my special die to roll. Okay. Mm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. I didn't either, so I guess we're we're kind of even there. Sure. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and start with an explore action to take one of these tiles. Okay. And you know what? Because Naveen has that 10 sticker, mm -hmm. I think it would be a good idea for me to try to get at least the 9. I mean, it makes sense. I have a 5 and a 4. That yeah. could easily make a 9 also. So, so. I'm going to start by going to Hephaestus' forge instead of taking a tile. Okay. So I'm going to place this 5, 3, and 1 okay. because that adds up to 9. Sure. And I don't actually get the sticker yet, but I'm going to um, dial in that location. Yeah, you get to scan it. And, it's uh, number 6. Uh, number 6. Really this is the first treasure. time... That we're seeing what the location does. Yeah, by the way, this is the first time we've ever played this. So, uh, yes. yeah, we didn't mention that. We didn't really. mention that. Yeah. This is kind of like a not live live stream. All right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but edited. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to dial in location number six. All right. So this says Hephaestus' smithy. Hephaestus' yes. arms and armor are of the highest quality and are filled with empowering magic. Proceed. That's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I think it's more just to keep track of... Um, how many times you've gone there? Yeah, I, I think it's part of these quests over here. It's like uh, when you go there, maybe. But we don't know. We don't know. Sure. We'll find out, yeah. All right, that was me. That was my turn. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to spend uh, four plus three, seven, okay. to take this tile. And we are going to start to build uh, our little tableau. So I'll just put this here, and then I can move it around as I need. So back to me, and maybe it's time for me to take a tile. But now I have just three twos. I can take a six. <laughs> You know what? I will take that four because okay. it has all three types yeah. of terrain. That's it gives you not something bad. to branch off. And a sacred site. Nice. nice so I'm nice. just going to place it right there. Unlikely. Right in the middle. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. Back to you. So I'm looking at this nine here. Uh, that could also get me kind of everything that I need going. Yeah. So I will take that nine. Everything you've ever wanted in life. Yeah. So now I can start moving things around a little bit. So I want to keep this as tight as possible. We'll do this. Okay. Yep. I like it. So back to me. And I just have this one two so i'm going to take this because it has a second uh, sacred site and i can have an extremely large body of water oh yeah or just close out i can close that so, out yeah gaia wants a bunch of individual types so you have already one type right there and gaia or i should say the the greek pantheon they are the ones who i'm tying with naveen on so if i can at least try to secure their favor then maybe i'll be okay she's talking about so, from scenario one from scenario yep. one uh -huh. yes because naveen for that legacy component of the game. Yep. Blew me out of the water <laughs> for the other two. I criteria. did. I did blow you out of the water. <laughs> All right, that's me. Uh, ooh, well, so you took, this is interesting, you took the, uh, the four yep. and the two, so yep. I can't individually put these out. You can take the I six. I could take the six, uh, or I can get in here. If I do the four, two, I can take a six dash one. So I might just do that. So I'm going to put this in here. Okay. And then uh, on the app, I, I have visited now locations. Uh, Six. Location six. So you get your my name your on time the... in the sun. Exactly. Yeah. Six. Okay, it's the same thing. Same same thing. Proceed. It's, yeah, it's keeping tabs it's keeping on tabs. us. Yeah. <laughs> it's watching us. They're, they know. All right. So back to me. Yeah. So now. You... So now I'm required to rest because I no longer have my dice in front of me. So I'm going to take all of them and roll them. So now I get to claim this sticker. Mm -hmm. I take the nine. The nine. Yeah. Yay. And uh, in addition, whenever people rest, that is when you refill these tiles. Yep. These six are coming from this stack. Yep. That's where all the sacred sites are, and these six are coming from that stack. Right. So, so I can go ahead and refill. Actually, before I roll them, <laughs> yeah, take your I sticker. must sticker. Because if, yeah, you want to use the sticker, and hopefully you can roll the nine. Right. So what do I, wanna, that's, what do I want to That's a good question, because sometimes you need those ones for the little math, you know? So you don't want to just cover up your, your low-value ones. Yeah, now I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I cover up a four? Just like a random four? Yeah, you could cover up a four. I mean, four. you do have six dice. I'm going to cover up a four. Okay. This might be, I don't know, somebody out there who's really good at math is probably like, the statistics of that 
wrong decision. We know nothing. Okay, so we do a, a kind of a refresh. Oh, so, okay, so from scenario one, this is a sticker that we placed on. So this is another location that we can go and visit. So yes. when the person that takes this tile, they can actually visit that. So this is location number five. So huh, maybe I will gun for that. Yes, uh, what, during setup, the app said locations one through five, if you visit them, they carry consequences. Yep. Potentially positive ones for whoever is currently winning the favor. That's right. So who is that? I mean, you're winning all the favors. <laughs> yeah. So it might... You might want to visit all these locations and just see what happens. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's me. I'm going to roll these dice now. And that's it for my refresh. Oh, wow. I didn't roll the nine. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So now you. Okay. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm out of dice. So uh, I will take down. Uh, so I'm going to take this uh, one six here because I have a total of six. Okay. And I'm going to place it on. I'll probably place it on a one because a one is already encompassing in this die. Gosh, those so, those die faces are probably better. One dash six, <laughs> the, because it's not like I lost my value of one, yeah. but now I have the option of a right. six to go with it. And I so. spent so many dice to get that nine. Oof, we make mistakes. <laughs> That's okay. You did great. Thank you. Um, so seven and nine get refilled. Yep. And, oh, ooh, look at that. Got a lot of. That's a lot of. A lot of uh, symbols. A lot of. Hey. Are these stickered? Oh, none of these were stickered. None of those so are natural. This is just a tile that came. Because I know in the first scenario, Naveen stickered some tiles that already had symbols on them, and I was like, you were just making those tiles really valuable. I did. I did. We'll find them Look soon. Look what I rolled. I got my you one, got three, five, two? and my ten. Ah, good job. No cheating. Okay, back to me. Um, this tile is really interesting because I just realized that this location symbol is actually the barbarians. Yeah. And that's that was. Right. The one thing that I did better than Naveen last game. That is that is true, yes. Yeah, I had more of the barbarians um, on my map. So maybe I will take that one. One plus one. one. Three minus one. Let's do a three minus one okay. since I have two threes and two ones. Sure. Three minus one is a two. I'll take this. And so I will try to go that location on my next turn, I guess. So much water. I don't know. We don't quite know if that's... If that's uh, how that works. How that works. But yeah, yeah I'm just going to do this. That's that. Nice. Real simple, real easy. So now it goes back to you. I have oh, three sacred sites. You know what? Just FYI. I, I'm looking at these right here. Uh, that ring of illusion is looking kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it's nice because you have a 10. I would have to spend so, so it, many it dice. It would be a 10 plus this 5 here to make the 15 to get ring of illusion. I would have to figure out now with which dice I put out there, right? Because if I put the 10 in, in, the, in this die, yeah, I so can only take 13 or 15. I correct. cannot get 14. You cannot get 14. Yeah, so let's do it. I will do that. I okay. will put it out here. Then let's tell the app that tell you're going that to lo is that location seven. Uh, that is location seven, yes. Okay. And it says Wayland's Workshop. So Wayland's artifacts are true wonders of craftsmanship. Owning one makes you far, far more powerful. Far more powerful, Monique. You hear that? Far, far. More powerful than it is twice the far. Right. All right. So back to me. And I am going to... I'm going to try to close this off by spending the three. Nice. Because that'll yeah. at least... Yeah. You need to wrap that up. So Yeah. It'll solidify one type of water terrain. Wow. Do you have four sacred sites um, on your And now I have four sacred sites. Have yes. you done this? I think so. So I have completed wow. this quest, which is places of power. So I have four sacred sites on my map. Okay. I'm going to dial that into the app. You bulldozed that. And I'm not going to steal this okay. quest card. Right. Leave it there. So I'm going to the quest tab, and I'm going to tap places of power. Okay. And I have fulfilled this quest. Yes. Mo. Mo. All right. This mysterious place, radiating with magic, has attracted your attention. As you step into the circle of power, you see Pythia sitting on the ground meditating. Mm. Well met, Mo. <laughs> I, I regret that name choice now. Mo. Um, as I warned you, all of Greece is now engulfed in the fires of war. Uh. Just as mortal armies clash, Ares fights against Thor, and I think we may see one of them meet their fate very soon. Have you chosen the right side yet? No matter. This bloodshed will end either way, and its survivors will focus on worshipping the gods and building temples in their name in places of sacred power. Places like this one. When the time of peace comes, which pantheon will you worship here? Mm. So I think I'm going to go with the Greek because I'm trying to secure their favor from Naveen. Oh, so let's okay. go the Greek pantheon. Okay. As I thought, remember that regardless of who wins the current war, this conflict will continue. Mm -hmm. Your sympathies may yet change, young one. Here, take this amulet. Hey, you'll find it useful when honoring the gods in their sacred places. So my actions have gained me one favor with the Greek gods. Nice. And uh, so I get 
Pythia's amulet. Oh, it's an cool. artifact sticker and I get to add it to my demigod box. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sticker off of our sticker sheet that comes in our secret envelope. So we're not gonna show you the rest of them. Sure. And it goes onto, I think, yeah, this side of my box where mm -hmm. we have space for three artifacts. If you have more than three, then you can replace. I'm just gonna go ahead and place that up here. Pythia's amulet. What does it say? Each time you explore a tile with a sacred site, I can re-roll any number of my ready dice. And the ready wow. dice are the ones in front of the me. The ones that are left over. Yes. That's awesome. Cool. Oh, and I get a title. <laughs> oh. I already have a title from the first scenario. I was the Horde Unleasher because okay. of a quest that I was able to complete. And now what are you? And uh, now I am the Worshipper. We're, oh. I am the Worshipper. You unleash Hordes I and you worship at the same time. Okay. Yes. Leader of Hordes and, uh, or Unleash Champion of Hordes. Champion of Worship. Sorry. And yeah, the worshippers. So now I have two titles under my belt. Yeah, we don't know what those titles mean, but right, they're there. And so now these scores are reflective of what just happened. So now I am leading with the Greek gods, four mm -hmm. to three. And I just realized I have zero favor <laughs> with the Nordic gods. You so made your decisions. Just, I made my decision. I am faithful, <laughs> loyal to one side. Yes. All right. So that was me. Now it goes to you. Wow. So if I take this tile, I would have one, two, three, four of these uh, Greek symbols. Ares would be very happy with that. And it would be me working towards the water, which you have over there. I have no symbols. Mm, you have no symbols. Okay, I talked about that that place. I, w I want seven. I want all these symbols. Ah. I, I know you want symbols too. So <laughs> The heart wants what it wants. Though. Yes. That is a does. lot of symbols. That's a lot of water too. Um, I should really start investing in tiles that actually have... Well, you went on that sacred action. quest, so that was pretty good. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's something. All right. In that case, uh, maybe I go for this one. Ooh. Or you know what? Let's see what happens if I try to visit this location. Yeah, you might as well. We don't know. We have, we no have not done this yet, but we're going to see what happens if I dial in. Is it five. location number five? Yeah, it's just upside down. And it has a, the, the barbarians symbol on it, who I had won the favor of last time. So I'm going to select number five. Okay. The barbarian settlement. You approach the location where you advise the barbarians to settle. You are greeted with great revelry. Welcome, oh wise Mo. <laughs> Why, thank you. You see that they live in peace with the land, prospering as hunters and gatherers and worshiping Gaia. Oh, Gaia. Okay. That's perfect for you. Yep. You are hosted in the crude but spacious house of their leader, a giant of a man, who welcomes you with a feast, during which a serious argument breaks out among the barbarians. Great one, you see that there is discord among our people. This land, although rich and good for us, is ravaged by war between the locals and warriors from the north, migrants just like us. Mm -hmm. Soon we will be forced to join this war, but we fear the gods of both sides. Which warrior god should we follow to victory? Ooh. Okay, follow the unyielding Ares, who is clearly a uh, Greek god, or follow the unstoppable Thor. Let's go with Ares, because I don't You're have... You're just going hard. Yeah, okay. all the way. Um, okay, so the barbarian warriors shout, banging their weapons against their shields, shouting animal-like war cries, their war band departs towards a nearby Viking encampment. Ooh. Uh-oh. They're going to start some, some... We're starting some, some beef. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I get to pick an opponent. Naveen. Okay. You must apply two of these barbarian faction stickers over two of your your Nordic faction symbols Whoa. on your map, covering them. What? If you have one or zero on your map, then you must cover the symbol that you have and okay. then you just add no further. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be something worse, but... Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Okay, so goodbye. I'm doing it upside down just so that it's uh, it's right side with all the other sure. the tiles. Wow. But wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I, I could uh, okay. I could try to get into the Nordic game. That's it. I'm assuming that's my my action. We're so then so. we're gonna we're just gonna go with that and say it's back mm -hmm. to you. I wonder what would have happened if you had taken this tile and explored it, because because the barbarians follow me because of the first scenario. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. All right, it's back to you. Hmm. Okay, I don't like uh, what I'm seeing here. I don't see anything, uh, either the the four or the six, which is what I can do here to, mm -hmm. to build towards this. So I think I'm just going to recall. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to rest. So uh, let's go ahead and resolve this here. Which one would you like, the 13 or the 15? The Potion of Endurance, which will allow you to um, refresh one of your dice whenever you explore a tile using three or more. Ooh, okay. Or the Ring of Illusion, which looks like it's twos or threes and maybe vice versa. You know, I'm going to take that 13 value one. The Potion of Endurance? Yeah, I'm going to do that one. Okay. There you go. So place it in one of your artifact slots. Okay, cool. There you go. And I'm going to give you back your dice so that so, you can re-roll them. So anytime I use three dice to go somewhere, uh, I will be able to refresh one of them. Yes. So it's like I get a discount. Right. All right. And that is a new tile. 
You rolling? We are rolling. Ooh, nothing special. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have four tiles to your three. Yep. Well, let's not forget that. Oh, yeah, let's just flip this over. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's So we're not done. focused on it. So then we have these two. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and take this twelve. Totally. <laughs> it has both symbols. It's pretty nice. I can slide it in right there. And if I leave this up here, then this is its own uh, terrain type. So, a tr by the way, a terrain area has to consist of at least two tiles. Two tiles, yep. And so that is going to be one uh, mountainous area for me. Well done. All right, back to you. Okay, now I have everything. Okay, I'm going to take this seven. Uh, I'll take six and one, and I'll take this tile. <laughs> Trying to regain your Nordic A symbol. little bit, and, uh, and it closes this off. I, you know, I... I I want a big sprawling map, but I also kind of want to move towards other things, so. Okay. Okay, so back to me. I have one. Literally the one. I'm going to refresh. Okay. I'm going to rest. That the action uh, is called resting. So I'm going to go okay. ahead and just roll these dice. So I'll fill in. Oh, big green. I need to remember what my artifact is. Each time you explore a tile with a... Oh. What was it again? Anytime I explore a tile that has... Uh, a sacred site. A sacred site, yeah. That's when, uh, you know what, I'm just realizing that I think I probably should have gone to this location when I took the tile. I just confirmed with the rule book, I was supposed to visit that location upon placing this tile. While you explored it. So, which means I missed a turn, and uh, I'm not sure if you had that tile at the time. Yeah, So and, and we can't just give you a turn back because you just refreshed all the tiles. Yeah, we're so going to call it a wash. Yeah, it, so unfortunately. So, from here on out, whenever you take a tile that has a location sticker already on it, you explore That's it. That's the moment you explored it, because yeah. you were exploring. Yeah. Did Correct. I roll these? You did. Okay, so that's me. Yeah, well, with that out of the way, uh, I want to get some more symbols. Let's go 6-2 to make it an 8, and we'll take this one. Okay, there you go. Thank you. And it's all about the experience of the story anyway, so yeah. we'll see how this story unfolds. You know what? Uh, I'm not doing 6-2. I'm going to do 4-2-2 two, two to do this okay. so that I can get a reroll. Oh, you get to take one back. Okay, so each time you explore a tile using three or more die, refresh one of them. Oh, so okay. it's basically a way of me re-rolling. I want to keep my six right. and then maybe re-roll something nicer. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So I'll place this tile here. That looks like a good spot. Nice. Okay, All so right. we have... So let me go ahead and do that potion five. of endurance. So I'm going to take my uh, my two back. It doesn't matter which one I take back. And I get <laughs> two, but it's like it never happened. Nah, it's, still, it's still a two. <laughs> it's still not some, bad. Still something. All right, so back to me. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to explore and take a tile. Okay. So none of the tiles here have a location on them, right? Because that was kind of fun. Uh, no. <laughs> no? No, no, no location. All right, so I'm going to take this one Nine. by spending the my five, just upside down, and a four. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and place this right, ooh, this will fit there nicely. Yeah. So it does give me an, another one of those um, Nordic symbols. And you're looking like you're trying to satisfy Thor and... Oh. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, because you got. Might big, as well try. You got a big water. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'll do a six minus two to make it four, and I'll take this piece. Okay. And uh, let's try to configure this in a way that gives me some flexibility. Maybe let's just put it like this. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> let's do it. It's hard to do any kind of like future planning for your terrain, right? It is, yeah. Because you're kind of trying to compete with each other. That's really the main purpose here. You're competing with your opponents. Exactly. Like I'm looking so. at, and you don't have any planes, like mm -hmm. large landmass of planes. Right. So I got that going on. So you're trying to secure that, I see. I could build out over you, here you instead. You could, but here. that's also hard to plan, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and explore this tile. Mm -hmm. So that's six and four. Okay. Make that ten. And I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. Right? Yeah, or maybe sense. I should just make the mountain bigger. Okay, let's do that. So uh, my party mm. lines have been drawn because I, I only have four across. Yes, you've, you've established so, your four. Yes. Uh, because of four by four. Okay. So I'm out of dice and I did not go to these two locations, so I don't have to deal with it. So I just pull back everything and we refill. Yep. Go ahead. Bring Come on, on, special dice. Okay. One of my special dice rolled. Nice. Okay, cool. So... It at the ready. All right, so back ready. to me. Let's see. What can I try to take now? Oh, I only have two twos. <laughs> can I go again with the two twos? Yeah. Well, I might as well go to the forge. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to try to secure that sticker there, which I probably shouldn't be saying. The two dash five. Well, I yeah. guess it would be mine regardless. But um. Yeah, because it would require me to go there, drop off, and then on my very next turn, pull away. Yeah, and you're not going to do that. So what what forge, what number is it? Six? Six. Yeah, okay. that's the location six. <laughs> okay. Dialed it in. So it's recorded in the app. Yes. All right, so now it is back to you. I, I could go there. 
You know, I like this one. Uh, I'm going to go for this eighth piece right here. So I'm going to take the five and three. Okay. And I'm going to take this one. Ooh. Yeah. It is, uh, it's two two symbols as well. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put this in here, making a bigger landmass. Nice. As much as possible. Yep. That's Done? It. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and recall my... My, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest. You are so okay. I'm taking these back and then now I get to take the sticker. So I'm gonna take the two five. the two dash five, yeah. And I'm just gonna cover up I'm gonna cover up a two that's on a different die. So a two on a die that doesn't already have another sticker on it. Correct. Okay, you wanna you, give yourself the highest you, chance. You can sticker uh, the same die the same die that has uh, already another sticker on it, but you just can't cover up a previously placed sticker. Right, yes, that is the rule. Yep. Yeah. All right, so, oh, Very good. Uh, sorry, I was so mesmerized by your stickering. <laughs> okay, so that's me. Ooh, now it is back to you. Look at that. So the forge is open. I just want to let you know that I do have one more sticker die face than you do. You do, that's right. I'm looking at this here. There's a location. Oh. That's what you just unearthed. It's for the Greek, so I wonder. I wonder what it would do and so if that... you're not currently in, the, in their favor. Yeah. Okay, I will spend a four and my three. Okay. Four and three to take this one. All and right. Let's figure out how we want to place this. I so. got to place this smart. This is good, I okay. think. Yeah, that's yeah, I think it's it's legal. Me some flexibility, yeah. And we're going to do this the right way this time. So yes. you now visit that location. Uh, yes, two. Location, location two. Location two. Okay. All right. Would you like to read it? Uh, you are better at reading out loud. <laughs> Your voice is way more appealing. All right. We're just going to We're going to go ahead and try this. So this is Gaia's holy forest. You return to the same valley you once visited, overgrown with Gaia's holy forest that remains a place of great natural beauty. Mm -hmm. At first, you thought the Greeks had abandoned the place, but as you walk between the trees, you are welcomed by their watchmen. Is it really you, wise Nav? It is. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. So, oh, there's more. Oh. It turns out the Greeks were still in the valley, but due to the Viking threat, they had secluded themselves deep within their sacred forest. You humble us with your presence. We feel much safer now. We shall organize a great feast to celebrate your arrival, serving all the forest can provide. Oh. oh. Sounds vegetarian. Yeah. Mother Gaia was generous, and the feast was an extraordinary event. The priests leading the ceremony praised both you and Mo as champions of the Greek people and their gods. Oh. And the gods agreed, granting both heroes their power and blessing. Oh, that's nice. Wait, are you going to get I, some benefit here? I'm from this. I, I don't mind that. How could you? Nav, refresh, yeah. which is re-roll any number of your exhausted dice. This Ooh. is not considered a rest action, though emptied tile spaces on the main board are refilled. So if you choose Any to, number. Yes. You don't have to, it's any number of your exhausted dice. So if you choose oh, to take these off the board, then we're going to refill it with the tile. So I can take one and one, though, and then leave it kind of, kind of naked, right? So I'll take this one. And where is it? And this one. I'll take these two and yeah. I'll leave these so that they don't get refilled. Yeah, this is a nasty man. Hey, there we go. <laughs> you. That is a nasty man move. All right. But I'm humbled. Oh, Mo, refresh. Reroll. Oh, all of my dice. <laughs> what timing? So I would have been able to do the same. So had but... there been die out there, but you don't get to reroll. Yes, had these there been dice, dice out there, dice. I would have been able to take them out. No, right. I. It's it's exhausted dice. That's right. Well, that's interesting. That's it. Cool. Okay, so now it goes back to me. To you, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Not happy? I just wish that something had been open there. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and explore this tile. Okay. So six and four. Make it ten. And yeah, it's going to go right here quite okay. nicely, just extending out that big field. Right. Um, and that's it. So, so you just have like a strip of land and... and hmm. I do. I so have you can to... go up or below. Okay. Right. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I have to decide which direction I want to go in yeah, here. Yeah, because you can't go left and right, but you can go north and south. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, I think I'm going to grab this tile. I'm going to spend the four and yep. take this one here. Okay. And we're going to add Ooh. to this little section. So now okay. we have a three by three, so I have options. Maybe I give up on the largest uh, uh, Greens. grass, yeah. <laughs> grass one, field two, here. One, two, three, four, five, all connected to yeah. your three. Okay, I'm going to spend the five and the four to okay. take this nine. And I'm going to extend the bottom Okay, so right now there. you have two grassy areas. I do. I have this this area and this area. And again, that's what Gaia wants. Gaia wants uh, unique, or not unique, separated uh, terrain types. Yes, separated um, land masses, I uh -huh. suppose. Well, I think this might be a good time to try to get this seven here. So I'll go with a uh, six plus one. So I'm using this dice as a one and the six to make okay. it uh, to that seven there. Well, 
I think I will do the same oh. and push your hand. Wow. What? <laughs> so you could technically also, there's this minus three here. So you could, if I do this, you could technically go two minus five to go to the negative three. I have, I have some options. I can also do the two and two three, for four. four. Yeah. Yeah. So we both went to location six. We did, yeah. So what are you going to do? Well, you forced my hand. I did have this two, and this grassy area was looking pretty nice. But uh, <laughs> you have no dice, so I might as well do it now and get out, because I think you will take that seven if I don't do it. So, uh, okay, Maybe. I will I will yeah, recall all my die. I will Your rest. Dice. My dice. <laughs> my die is. Dice versus die. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, and then I will take a seven. Okay. That. And, and let's I will, refill these. I think I'm going to boost a six. I'm going to turn a... Oh, gosh. Do I want to do that? This is the hard part, is deciding what you want to do with your with your dice, because you don't know what you need, really. Mm -hmm. So let's cover up a four and make a four seven. How about that? Okay. <laughs> so I have a six, seven, five, four. Nice. Or, or no, four. Something like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know if I followed that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I am also <laughs> going to rest. Okay. So let's take these back. And I'm going to take the four, the three, four. Sure. And let me go ahead and do this now. Ooh, look at take, these. Oh, you're getting, you're, you're finding all I'm your souped up stuff, yes. tiles. All right, so I'm going to replace a three somewhere. I see, I oh, I just realized rolled. I rolled this and now I'm picking up my die. Yeah, yeah, I have to roll because I didn't do that either. Okay, go ahead, you roll first. Ooh, I got my 10. That's all right, nice. so now that I've modified a die face, I'm going to truly roll. Sure. Oh, none of my, none of my special faces. That's okay. That is okay. Okay, so now it goes to you. Wow. Uh, this is looking real nice right now mm -hmm. because, um, Thor of course wants the most blue faces and I have one, two, three, four. You had me cover up one. Yes. And how many do you have? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. I have my special 10 die. I might as well just go ahead and use it and take this. Perfectly yeah. Good that one. is a really nice. And I think I could, I could put it here and just shut this area off and then I'd have two separate mountains. How yep. many mountains do you have? Three separate mountains? Yes. Okay, we are going to continue on <laughs> with the big mountain because there's no way I'm going to get to three mount or four mountains. Yeah, so. you're giving up that race. I've given it up. Okay. So now it goes to me, and there is a location on this tile. Oh, man. I got so, like, gung-ho about the symbol that I just totally didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take it. So six and two to make an eight. Nice. And, oh, I just wanted to take it, but I didn't, like, uh, actually think about where I'm going to put it. You have some options. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go like this. Yep. Just like that. And this is location number three. 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 So I get to visit location number three. three Let's dial that around. in. So select it number three. Mo. We have arrived at a Viking keep. Uh-oh. I have not been doing well with the Vikings. Maybe they'll talk highly about me. Maybe. Mm. You arrive at the largest Viking settlement in Greece. Built near the picturesque bay, their town is already well established and protected by a large fortified keep. I think this is the keep that you this built. This is the keep that I definitely in encourage the them to build in the first scenario. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, demigod. Enjoy our hospitality. The local community is preparing for war. Warriors pray to Thor and ready their arms for departure, while brave shield maidens strengthen the keep's defenses in case some Greeks are foolish enough to attack it in their husband's absence. Mm -hmm. All wise Mo. <laughs> our ships are ready. We're departing soon. Lead us. Where should we seek glory and rich plunder? Um, like, well, back I don't, to Norway, perhaps? <laughs> I don't have any options. I just had the one option and it says lead them to a raid, a very important, no, sorry, lead them to raid a very important rich area. Oh, okay. I only have that one option. You're like, just go get the money. Yeah. Yeah. Soon the Viking war party will sail out. The majority of the ships follow yours, but one manned by the bravest glory seekers detaches to join the war under the command of their God's favorite. Nav! Oh. I who command. Wow. Wow. That uh, that backfired. Do I get any bonus? Well, it says Mo. Uh -huh. You may, as a free action, immediately explore any tile available on the main board that contains a Nordic symbol and does not contain a location sticker, which is going to be only wow, this wow, one. Wow, wow, wow. You must use your single highest value ready die okay. to claim this tile. Interesting. The die value does not need to match the tile's number. If there is no valid tile available or you do not have any ready dice, you do not receive this reward. Wow. <laughs> so spend that, your six to get that nine. Yeah, let's do that right you now. You may do this. Now, do you really want to do this is the um, question. Yes. Okay. I definitely do. And this so is the only spot. you have established. Yeah. I think I, yeah. 
Can, I, can we get a blue symbol count? I guess count? I could go upwards that way. You could go upwards, yeah. How but many... this is a separate uh, green area for you, which is nice. I was already winning in the... in the. Let's see, how, how big is this? One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I'm going to extend upwards. Wow. I'm bringing this down. Do you want me to help you? Yes, please. Is it going here or here? Uh, let's just go... Let's just go here. Sure. Let's do that. So that is my, my final answer. I like it. Let's see if there's anything for you. Nav, apply faction sticker, um, a Nordic oh, faction good. sticker to any tile on your map. So this is the first time that we are stickering I... in this video. And so the second time we're stickering because uh, you had me sticker one of my Nordic tiles. Yes. Well, this is the first time that we're applying a new sticker to an empty spot because just, we just, you just covered up. That's true. Yeah. Yes. So the rules for stickering are that uh, each sticker must go on the along the edges of the tile. So you can have no more than four. If it's a sacred site, you cannot cover this up. Right. So that means those tiles can only have maximum two of them. You can only have one location per tile. Right. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Yes, that's right? correct. Yep. So where are you going to go? You can place it on any tile because some sometimes it's going to be uh, terrain dependent. Mm -hmm. and it'll tell you what type of terrain you're allowed to place it on, but right. this is any tile. Uh, I think I'll probably, let's just put it on this one here. This, sure. Uh, let's do this right side up. So I'll turn it and go to the south. Okay. Which is technically to its west. <laughs> so again, at the end of these scenarios, all of the tiles get mixed together. Yep. So that tile does not belong to Naveen. Right. Just because I manipulated this tile does not mean anything. Mm -hmm. But as, as of what we know. But that sticker is going to be on that tile now yes. for future scenarios. Exactly. Just like these locations. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's cool. Anything else? That's it. Okay. All right. So back to you. Me. Okay. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to spend 662 mm -hmm. and place myself into this location. Oh, here. you're going to secure that. I'm going to try to secure that. Ugh. What if I go in there with five? Well, none of this will add up to no. <laughs> the 14. Yeah. I just do it now. All right. I'm going to lose this quest is what that means. <laughs> well, I might as well take something that has symbols. So I'm going to turn in all three of these nice. for this tile. So seven, so that I can just close out right there. Smooth. And that'll give me one more of those, uh, the Greek symbols. All right, so now to you. So I have one, two, three, four, four more tile spaces. Okay. Uh, once I complete those, because I have more tiles than Naveen It's does, a hard stop. It's going to be a hard stop. I'll take this two. Let's just take it. Okay. And build up. So I'm going to make this green go just a little bit bigger. So now I've defined my lines. Yeah. Here. Right. Because now you, you have to build in. Exactly. Over here, yeah. I'm basically this L shape. You're four by four. Very good. Cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and rest. Sure. So let's take these. Okay. And then all the and... new tiles will come from this side. And oh. I don't have enough uh, die to, to do anything on this side. Dice. <laughs> well. The you plural of so, dice is so... The plural of die uh, is die. I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who's wrong. <laughs> no, I'm wrong. What is the grammar I'm, of dice? I'm definitely dice? wrong. Okay. So I rested. That goes to you. Cool. So I have this five. Um, I might as well... I might as well take this one. Yeah. i got to catch up here a little bit. So this is legal. Let's just go ahead and fill that in right there. So okay. So now I'm really just kind of going in there. Well... Uh, we're kind of running out of options for our terrain styles here. Yeah. So I think I have to take this tile. I'm going to spend the six, and I think I can activate my my artifact. Oh, yeah, what does it say? Each time I explore a tile with a sacred site, I can re-roll any number of my ready dice. So oh, I can re-roll nice. any number of those Perfect timing. I'd like. That's such but a good spot for that. I'm just going to slip that in right there. I really wanted that tile. Oh, you did? That was the one tile I was looking at the most. Why? Because it has the most water that, that's going to allow me to build out here. And this oh. just connected all your waterways, so you got that nice... Uh, that's exactly what you meant. Oh, I, I did it out of necessity. It was the only tile because everything has to make sense. You don't have a choice. Yeah, exactly. You can overbuild. So if you, you wanted can. to overbuild, you, you are allowed to, but all the terrain still needs to make sense. Yeah. So, hmm. Okay, well, so nice. do I want to re-roll? I think so, right? I'm just going to save the five. And well, do I re-roll the three? Uh, well, look at which die you've modified and maybe... Uh... Well, I'm definitely going to re-roll these two. And uh, let's just keep the three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We roll these. Okay, there you go. Cool, cool. Oh, that's your this nine. That's a nine. Oh. Okay. Whoa, whoa. So now it goes to you? Okay, so uh, I have to rest or recall. So yep. I'll take these all back. And then. Let's... Did we plug in your location? When uh, you went we there? did not do let's that. Do it now. I don't think we did, yeah. Okay, go ahead and take your. So artifact. this is 14 total, and it's going to be the magnifying glass. And what the magnifying glass says is, uh, after resting, reroll all dice with the lowest value. Cool. So I can probably enact that right away, right? 
Uh, yeah, I, I I'm technically so. resting now. Yeah. Yeah. I I would think so. Because I haven't re-rolled it. Mm-hmm. All right. So are you going to? Oh, you haven't rolled your dice yet. I haven't yet. rolled my dice yet. Okay, well, let's re -roll this. Okay. Ooh, I got my seven. Wow, that's funny. My, I can re-roll my lowest ones, which are fours. Oh. Uh, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And since this stack has been depleted, we're going to refill from this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now back to me. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't really have a choice. I'm going to take this tile. Okay. So five and three makes an eight. Sure. And I'm just going to slip that in right there. Okay. I'll work on that side later. Sure. So two tiles left. Two tiles left for you. Okay. Until the end of end of the game. End of the game. Okay. End of the scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, with my four die, and I'm going to take this tile here. Okay. And I think this one works. Oh, you closed it out. It did. How big is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. There was no way. One, two, three, four, five. I would have to bring the green all six, the way seven, this way. Yeah, just to tie it. That's asking for a lot. Mm. That's me. <laughs> well, I think I can take this tile with all three of these because nine plus five is 14. Okay. Minus, Minus three, three yeah. is 11. Totally. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take it and I will use this tile for this spot. Nice. So closed off the green area and... Uh, I'm almost there. Yeah. One more tile to go, and it'll be the end. Ooh, okay. Which is interesting because we know that you're winning both the the Vikings as well as the Greek. Uh, the Greek symbols on your on your map. Right. But uh, we have been ignoring the barbarians. Last time in the first scenario, we counted them. Yes. And uh, how many barbarians? I have one, two, three, four, five. I believe. Three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I definitely have. The loyalty. And you had them last time. Oh, the in, barbarians. In the previous uh, scenario. The humans, yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm going to spend my 6 minus 4 to get a 2 and take this one here. Okay. And let's just make... That is your final tile. Yeah, let's make this legal. That's legal. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you just have to count the edges. I know. Blue, blue. I, I can't think. I can't. <laughs> there, that there, works. That works. Uh, all right, so I I actually have to you rest. You have to so rest. So this is not your final tile. Wow. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm resting. If you want to go ahead and refill those spots. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what we get. A bunch of rock. Yeah. Come on. Do we have a location? My, my nine side didn't didn't uh, pop didn't, up didn't when I needed out. it to. So. Okay. I think I'm going to use my seven to take this seven here. Yep. And I'm going to create a second uh, plains terrain. I, or a third one. So I have one here. Yep. Two and a third one here. <gasps> You, boo, <laughs> you stink. <laughs> ah. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to end it right now. Okay, sure. So, um, because I'm, I think I'm going to lead here, and I can't... You can't get I there. can't take this lead, so I might as well end it. Yep. So I'm going to take... I think I need to do something with two... I can take this one. Yeah. Four, three, and one. Totally. Okay. Yeah. So with all of my dice, there was, I, I knew there had to be a way. Yeah. Well, you could have done your four and four also. Yeah. Oh, I have a, yeah. <laughs> I had a four right there. Yep. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm going to just go ahead and slide that in. And oh, I have solid. my 4x4 four 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 four. So that hard stops. Yes. Ends the scenario. Immediately. That's it. So now we're going to do some end of scenario stuff. Okay. I don't feel very good about where I stand here. I don't think anything <laughs> is going to change enough okay. from what happened in the first scenario. The good thing is we only have access to the first two scenarios. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good and bad. Yeah. All right. So let's go end scenario. Do we have a surprise? Some stuff happens. Okay. So Wayland's regret. Nev visits Waylon to buy supplies for the upcoming battle. I did. The troubled god sighs. That was the last one I can offer with my current resources. The rest of my precious artifacts lie on the bottom of the sea. When we arrived on these warm waters, a local sea god attacked us with furious anger, creating a giant wave that sank my ship, along with most of its cargo. Should you manage to find the wreckage and bring me the golden chest it holds, I shall reward you handsomely. I will also be able to offer many more artifacts. Here, let me show you roughly where my ship sank. So, Nab, your actions have gained you one favor, one favor point with the Nordic, for the Nordics, okay. the Nordic gods. Very cool. And I think this is, has to do with, uh, I think right now we are resolving the quests. Okay. Because the, this quest is called Wayland's That's Regret. right, yes. So, the app knew that you won because we were dialing in, dialing in the location every time yep. we went. Yep, very so, good. So, all right, very so good. you secured that quest. That makes sense. Okay. Nab, you get to apply some stickers. So location nice. stickers 11, 12, and 13. Okay. You apply them to any water terrain that's on your map. Okay. And they each have to be applied, obviously, on a separate tile because each tile can only have one location sticker. I see. Okay, so 11, 12, and 13. Oh, look, yes. there's a little symbol of a, of a wrecked ship. Oh, It must cool. have been Poseidon who's done this. Yeah, that's neat. Okay. 
So cannot be over a sacred site because that's just the rules of placement. So let's go ahead and put one here. Okay. I'll, I'll make it facing the same way as the, the barbarian head. Okay. Okay. And then you said 12 and 13, yeah? Yeah. So this is the moment where you can decide for yourself if you'd like to make juicy tiles juicier. Yeah, this is or, interesting. Uh, wow. Okay. Not as juicy tiles, a little bit more interesting. I'll put this 12 here in the south. Okay. Again, symbols go into the north, south, east, west of these tiles. Right. But it cannot be over another symbol. And you can't have more than one location. Exactly. The same tile. So and you have space on one of these two. Ah, uh, you could technically go there. But uh, that would make that super juicy. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to put that because because this could randomly flip out at like right. seven where it's the most easy to. So even though we're not going to continue, <laughs> we don't have the other scenarios in this game. But, but... technically, if I knew I was yes. going to the next scenario, I would probably not do that. So right. I'll, I'll put it down here. Cool. That's a solid choice thank of you. placement. Thank okay. You, thank you. Okay, so an ally for Hephaestus, which is this quest right here. I think that's you, right? I think so. It says, Mo, you visit Hephaestus's forge to pick up your order. The godsmith seems concerned. That's the last one I can offer you for now, Mo, for my forge requires more heavenly fire. The titan Prometheus stole much of it, and for that, Zeus imprisoned him somewhere in the Caucasus Mountains. Find him and bring him to me along with the heavenly fire. Only then will I be able to run my smithy again. Here, take this map. The Titan should be chained in one of these three spots. So I now have gained a favor, okay. uh, a favor point oh, on this time. So because I completed this So there's like a little quest. bit of a hunt here. And again, okay. the reason why is because I uh, visited the, the forge. Yeah, I times. think we did it the same, but you were the person to do it last. So if there's a tie, whoever did that action last uh, gets it. I think I did it. There's five missing. Also that. Yeah, <laughs> three to two, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, so oh, I get to apply some location stickers. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. And they have to be on mountainous terrain on my oh, okay. map. They have that kind of like fire. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Oh, I don't ten. know if I. Yeah, I guess I you could. Get some legal. Spots, so right? let's go with eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, and they have so to be on mountains. So this is not legal because there's nope. already a location. So there. it has to be maybe here. Sure. That's a really nice tile. There's this one that has a little bit less. Yeah, let's see that one. Um, so this is eight. Okay. Nine. And yeah, we know this, nothing about these numbers. These are just these are locations. To us, these are just numbers. Yeah. Well, no, they're, they're locations, but we just don't know what's going to happen when you go there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So nine, I'll put here because this is like a real vanilla tile. Okay. So now that one's like a well, little bit. And more also for your character, don't forget you want to visit sites that have sacred sites that's because true. of your ability here. So you maybe want to set it up for yourself. So. Yep. Yep. That's it true. It benefits you more than me. I'll put the last one here. Yeah, I think you just got to do something like that. Yeah. Just make that one more interesting as well. Cool. All right. So that's uh, sites eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to do the end of scenario stuff. So okay. it says the Great War. Like everyone else in the land of Greece, Gaia and Emir are preparing for the grand upcoming battle. Let us see which of you helped them most. Okay. Which player has the most plains areas, which are the green? I have uh -huh. one, two. I have two. Two, because these are separated. Uh, yes. They're only singles. So I created this at the very end, so I have one, two, and three. So it's, ah, it is nav. It is nav. Okay. You you have gained a Greek a favor Greek point. Favor. Okay. Who has the most water areas? I have one, two. <laughs> I have two as well. One, <gasps> two. So the way that you break a tie is um, whoever has the most number of these uh, symbols. symbols in that designated terrain. It does not have to belong to anybody. I have a lot of symbols. In your water? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, you have one, oh, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven eight, eight. Eight. I miscounted. Ah, okay. I only have one, two, three, four. Three, four. <laughs> so Naveen gets it yeah, again. Yeah. Okay. Which player has the most mountainous areas? I have I one, two, three. I think that's you. I think you created oh, that. Finally, yeah. we got one. <laughs> Okay, so I got a, a Greek point. Okay, who is the single largest plains area? I think we've decided that yeah, was one, you. One, two, three, Massive. four, five, six, seven. For sure, Nav. Largest water? That's oh, sorry. you. Sorry, yes, water. Water's you, because I uh, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. I was one shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's why this tile, when you placed it, yeah. I was like, that was the perfect was tile to stop me from doing that. Yeah. Cool, I'll take it. Uh, single largest mountain. I think that's you again, I think that's right? me again, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Wow. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm, I'm gunning for the, the Nordic, but I'm playing both sides with the Greeks. Don't let them hear you. <laughs> the first direct clash of the gods is upon us. An epic battle is sure to ensue. Which player has the most Greek faction symbols? I think you win in both of these categories. Okay. These One, are these two, symbols. three, four, five, six. I only have four. Four, that's, that's no, close. I have five, five. actually. That, that was, really, was close. really close. Yeah. Okay, but it's still you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Who has most Viking symbols? Uh, One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. I have one, two, three, four, five. Cool. So two armies led by their warrior gods finally met on the field of battle. It was the bloodiest battle ever witnessed by the young humans. The Vikings' brute force was pitched against unyielding Greek tenacity. Ha, huh, Ares versus Thor. I salute you, Nav. You are truly a master of puppets. <laughs> Controlling both opposing armies, you are in position to stage the battle on your own terms, wow. which will inevitably influence its outcome. Wow. The power is in your grasp, but you must be decisive. Which army shall be victorious? Naveen, you've been playing both sides. I have been playing both the sides. The moment has come. You must decide. Do you set the stage for the Greek victory or the Viking victory? They're watching you. <sighs> I'm going to go Greek victory. <gasps> the Greeks. Wow. Yes. The Greek forces gathered by Nav took advantage of their superior numbers to slowly advance forward, pushing the Vikings up against a seaside cliff. You happy with yourself? Mm -hmm. It was in this desperate moment when the battle seemed already decided that the tide turned. Ares fell to his knees, felled by the powerful strike of Thor's hammer. The battlefield froze as all gazes turned towards the clash of the gods. The Greeks wavered, seeing such real, almost human fear in their gods' eyes. Triumphant Thor raised his hammer to deliver the final fatal blow Whoa. when his own chest suddenly exploded in a fountain of blood. Wow. Nav had sunk his weapon deep into Thor's heart. Oh, Look it was at me. You. Wow. Thus ended the great battle. With Thor defeated, the Vikings fled the field in panic. The first war was over. Wow. Yeah, and then you would remove Thor's god card Thor's out. from the game, putting it back. Well, yeah, because Thor is has been defeated. By my sword. So you would remove that card from the game. And for the last bit here, a masterful stroke, demigod. I never expected you to be capable of defeating Thor where I failed. I owe you and thereby name you the fate of Thor. I find it only fitting that you should earn the spoils of your victory. By the right of the victor, take Thor's hammer as your own. Wow. Okay, so then you would stick her. It's, okay. you, you have now... Uh, a new title, which is The Fate of Thor. The Fate so of Thor. So grab the sticker and place it on your box. Wow. That's cool. Nav, you have another... also known as Nordic Engineer and The Fate of Thor. <laughs> what a combination. Amazing. Oh, you also, you, you have, you have an artifact sticker now. Yes. It's the Hammer of Thor. I see that one right here, you yeah. You defeated Thor, you stole their hammer. And so now each time you explore a tile with a Greek uh, symbol, set any ready die. Wow. You can set any die. I can die. set it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very good. Um, I get to keep the first player marker because it's telling me that I probably lost the second stairs. That's what happened last time. Mm. So I store it inside my, my uh, demigod your, your box. box and yeah. So when we would play the third scenario, then I would go first. And that's it. That is it says it to for, be continued. Yeah, it says to be continued. Wow. So, yep, and these are our final scores for the scenario. As you can see, Naveen and I have both tied for the Greeks' favor, but mm. because I think because Naveen won their favor last or most recent, oh, then see. you supersede it, me in that I, ranking. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And you, you also have beat me out on all the other ones. So right now, <laughs> you are going to be a god. How do you feel, Naveen? I, I feel godlike. Yes, I have <laughs> Thor's hammer. I have a magnifying glass and some potion. There's no scenario three, though, so, yeah. we, you know, we don't know. We don't know what that go. fate would have been like. Maybe yeah. it would have reversed. Who knows? Right. But anyway, that is, that's it for Divinus Scenario 2. This is technically a sponsored video, so we don't give any opinion-style content. Yep. But if you have any questions about the gameplay or anything you saw today, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and we'll try to get to your question as soon as possible. Please keep in mind that this is the very first time that we're playing this scenario. We may have played things inaccurately mm -hmm. potentially like yep. we kind of had that boober earlier in the scenario but we hope that everything is as accurate as we could have made it now like we said this game is currently on game found so there is a link in the description down below if you do want to check out the campaign uh so we just want to say thank you so much for watching our playthrough we hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future please consider subscribing thank you thank you bye